the surface integral of the integrand that is the dot product of yz i vector plus zx j vector plus xy k vector with da vector where s is the surface of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1 in the first octant. First octant means your theta is lying between 0 to pi by 2 and also phi lying between 0 to pi by 2. Right? Okay. There is a remark written over here that is the parametric equation of the sphere is x equal to sine of theta cos of phi and y is equal to sine of theta sine of phi and z is equal to cos of theta and the part of the sphere in the first octant corresponds to yes theta lying between 0 to pi by 2 and phi also lying between 0 to pi by 2. These are the limits for these two. So the parametric equations of the sphere are yes x equal to sine of theta cos phi, y is equal to sine of theta sine phi and z is equal to cos of theta where theta lying between 0 to pi by 2 and phi is lying between 0 to pi by 2 also. So this is the given integral and that is equal to the double integral over s yz dy dz plus zx dz dx plus xy dx dy and by the rule of change of variables for the integrals this integral is further equal to yz curly yz divided by curly theta phi zx curly zx divided by curly theta phi plus xy curly xy divided by curly theta phi d theta d phi and the limits for theta is from 0 to pi by 2 and for phi is also 0 to pi by 2. So let's calculate these curly yz over curly theta phi. So that is equal to the determinant of curly y over curly theta, curly y over curly phi, curly z over curly theta, and curly z over curly phi. That is equal to, okay, let's derivate y with respect to theta. So that is cos of theta sine phi. Derivating y with respect to phi. So it is sine of theta cos phi. Derivating z with respect to theta, it is negative of sine theta. And derivating z with respect to phi, it is 0. So this is equal to 0 minus minus sine square theta cos of phi. That is equal to sine square theta cos of phi. Similarly, we evaluate this, which is the determinant of curly z over curly theta, curly z over curly phi, curly x over curly theta, and curly x over curly phi. Derivating z with respect to theta, it is negative sine theta. Derivating z with respect to phi is 0. Derivating x with respect to theta, it is cos of theta sine phi. And derivating x with respect to phi is negative of sine of theta sine phi. So this is sine square theta sine phi minus 0. That is equal to sine square theta sine of phi. Fine. All right. So the third one is derivating x with respect to theta. Derivating x with respect to theta is cos of theta cos phi. Derivating x with respect to phi, it is negative sine of theta sine phi. Derivating y with respect to theta, it is cos of theta sine phi. And derivating y with respect to phi, it is sine of theta cos of phi. So that is equal to cos theta sine of theta cos square phi plus sine of theta cos theta 
साइन स्क्वेर फाइव टेकिंग कॉस ऑफ दीटा साइन दीटा आउटसाइड एंड कॉस स्क्वेर फाइव प्लस साइन स्क्वेर फाइव बिकम्स वन सो दिस इज साइन ऑफ थीटा कॉस ऑफ थीटा राइट ओके सो लेट पुट ऑल दीज वैल्यूज ओवर हियर वी गेट द डबल इंटीग्रल वेयर थीटा इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव बाई टू एंड फाइव इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव बाई टू सो दिस इज डी थीटा डी फाइव नाउ दिस गिवन इंटीग्रल इज इक्वल टू दिस द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वाई इंटू जेड दैट इज साइन थीटा साइन फाइव इंटू कॉस थीटा देन इज कर्ली वाई जेड ओवर कर्ली थीटा फाइव सो दैट इज इक्वल टू साइन स्क्वेर थीटा कॉस फाइव सो साइन स्क्वेर थीटा एंड साइन थीटा बिकम साइन क्यूब थीटा कॉस फाइव राइट प्लस द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जेड इंटू एक्स That is sine theta cos theta into cos phi, and then is curly z x over curly theta phi, which is sine square theta into sine phi. So sine square theta into sine theta becomes sine cube theta into sine phi, right? Plus, then is the product of x y, which is sine square theta cos phi into sine phi. and then curly xy over curly theta phi that is this value sin theta into cos theta sin theta into cos theta so this becomes again sin cube theta cos of theta right now sin cube theta is common all over so all these three terms are equal so writing here 3 sin of cube theta sin of phi cos of theta cos of phi now i am going to integrate this inner integral and because the limits are from 0 to pi by 2 so here we are going to use the reduction formula for theta how the reduction formula is used please note over here if i am having the power of sin to be m and cos to be n then we have to subtract the odd numbers from the powers So first we need to subtract the odd numbers from the powers of sin that is m minus 1 m minus 3 up to so on until we get 1 and then we need to subtract the odd numbers from the powers of cos so that is n minus 1 n minus 3 up to so on and take all the product divided by for the denominator just take the sum of these two powers that is m plus n and then we have to subtract the even numbers from this sum that is n plus n minus 2 n plus n minus 4 up to so on until we get 1 right so this is how the formula is used so let's apply this formula let's take this 3 outside so this is 0 to pi by 2 3 what is the power of sin it is 3 right let me write cos theta first and then sin of phi cos phi we are going to apply the formula on this what is the power of sin it is 3 and the power of cos it is 1 so let's subtract the odd numbers from the power 3 minus 1 is 2 3 minus 3 is 0 that is not required and for the cos we are having the power 1 so 1 minus 1 0 that is also not required divided by sum of the powers that is 3 plus 1 which is 4 so writing here 4 and then subtracting the even numbers from this 4 so 4 minus 2 is 2 4 minus 4 is 0 not required writing here then sin of phi cos of phi d phi so this 2 will go and we get 3 divided by 4 integral of sin of phi cos of phi d phi so this is equal to 3 divided by 4 and the integration for this is divided by 2 so 3 divided by 8 is your required answer thank you